Mm. Hey everybody and welcome back. I hope you guys are blessed and well. Let's see what is going on. Okay. You wanna um you wanna create something from your home, okay? I feel like somebody is like literally like surveillancing you. Like a lot of y'all are under surveillance because Somebody is like watching to see when you're going to create something. Guilt. Like if you've been feeling like somebody is watching you, they are. But they're not watching you to like stalk you in because they're obsessed with you and your degree, you things like that. This, this person is specifically stalking you to see what you're creating like inside of your home. So it's like, um... Just, you know, be careful. You're about to be set free from something, man. Just keep creating, but I'm picking up that somebody is waiting for you to create something so that they can steal it. Just period. It's like they're watching you very close to see if you say something um, out loud. Like maybe if you say your ideas out loud or... You know, uh, whenever that light bulb goes off in your head, they're 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 waiting for you to do something amazing or say something amazing. Let's hear that, man. This is crazy. I mean, on the brighter side of things, you are very healthy. Okay, here, like you're a very healthy person. And I also too feel like you're doing things that are healthy as well. Like you could be um, changing your way of thinking, uh, you know, just being very cautious of who you allow around you, things like that, what you listen to, what you consume. I feel like energetically, physically, whatever, you're you're getting a response. Yeah, death. Patience, self-esteem, fear. Yeah, somebody is, it's like they're watching you because they're scared of what you're going to create. You know that fight or flight energy? This is not, it's, it's, I'm getting fight or flight energy, but it's like, you know what? It's fuck this. You're not going to just sit by and let something happen, or you're just not going to just sit back and go broke or something. Because you're realizing that you're not growing somewhere, but you have success anyway. Like all of the gifts, everything is literally with you. All the ideas, everything, everything is with you. Somebody does not have any ideas. Like, they have none. They're waiting on the next best thing. And they're waiting on you to create that thing so that they can steal it. This period. I feel like this is going to flop um, because something you handcraft, like you do something handcrafted, somebody is going to steal and, like, uh, push it through like a, a warehouse or something. Or that's what they're attempting to do. Strategy, caring connections reverse. This could be someone or somebody's that you just decided not to work with anymore. Caring connections reverse. I don't feel like you got nothing, you know, against them, but I see why you don't deal with them because they were deceiving and you had to cut them off. Or somebody was trying to deceive you. They were attempting to do whatever this is. I feel like you found your niche. Like you have a million niches or something. Like whoever you are, you have millions of niches is what I'm hearing. Like you have a lot that you do. And it's so easy for you to switch lanes is what I heard. Like you... You switch lanes so easily. It's scary to someone... Like, dang, how do they keep on doing that? Like, I'm going to steal this one thing and then, you know, they're just going to create something else and I'm just going to steal that. It's like, that's how they're, somebody's adding on to like a portfolio or a collage from your ideas and like tanking, like tanking your stuff. Healer of the ages, Zorda Value Reverse, Community Reverse. I mean... It's, it's no point in keeping your ideas to yourself, like, because if you keep your ideas to yourself, then they will never be sold, like, you couldn't make money, but it's like, if you put your ideas out, someone's going to steal it, and make sure you can't make money anyway. They're going to take something, get it out even faster, and they're going to make it way cheaper. The Sun card. 
It's like somebody is just sitting back waiting because they just know you're about to create something. It's, this is somebody who is like, somebody somebody does a lot of spell work on you too, just to let you know that they do work on you as well. I heard blabber, like they want you to start talking about your ideas. They want you to let them know what you're doing when you're gonna launch something. Somebody is trying to turn you bitter. Like, wow, everything I do, people just take it from me, huh? So, somebody knows that you're the main source. Like, they know for a fact they can't take any action or anything without you. It's weird. Like, something is just strange. They know for sure they can't do anything without you. They can't do nothing without you. Door to woman ass. This could be someone you just, like, you turn down envy their envy is making them hostile what the hell somebody is getting confused i feel like somebody like writes jingles or like they a journalist or something like somebody does something so where they have a deadline it's like they're trying to make you reveal what you're doing our angel michael's reverse he's already done something with this envious person like they're not going to take your intellectual property and pass it off as their own that's just not what's gonna happen it's like, wow, it's that hard for you to think of a fucking idea? Like, who knew it was that hard? Like, bro, it's not... It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. It's like, it's not like they don't have any ideas. They don't have your ideas. It's like, your ideas are genius. Like, they're billion-dollar ideas or something. Like, you could, you could invent things. And it's like, every time you invent something, you try to bring someone in, they still... They steal your idea or like they they completely recreate it and they do it for like 10 20 dollars cheaper so it's like yeah come come shop with us and then basically whatever you do or whatever you got going on it won't sell because it's like whatever this is it should be the only thing selling but somebody is here they're recreating everything you do somebody named janice or jock or something like that. Spiritual strength. My goodness, bro. Like, why do you always just gotta be so strong? Like, that is crazy. It's like you're always in this energy of, okay, you know what? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'll forgive you. Yeah, I'll create something else. Everything you created gets stolen because somebody has no fucking ideas. None. I just can never make it up. Sacred Chakra comes flying out reverse. They tried to do things to block your chakras, like, so you could not think of anything. But then they forgot that they were stealing everything from you. Or the last idea that they stole, it didn't do as well as they thought it was. And now they're watching you to think of something else to steal from you now. Like... <laughs> Because they're fucking stupid, like I felt. This is an idiot. This is somebody who cannot think of shit. They may have money. I mean, why won't they work with you, though? Uh, duh. Like, the, instead of them working with you, they'll just sit back and steal. They'll steal from you. Before they work with you, they will steal. That's just simple and plain. I'm seeing it. I ain't going into no partnerships with them. I'm not paying them what the fuck they worth. I'm going to just steal their idea. And the money that I could use to pay them, I'll use it to manufacture this. That's literally how someone thinks. Accelerated motion, then you have fertility. Like, that's literally how somebody thinks. They're, they're waiting hand and foot on everything. Harmony. They cannot move without you. Like, look, movement, choices, decisions. Say if you do tarot, right? It's, it's some bitch or a nigga that literally cannot do anything unless they hear your readings. Nothing. They cannot drop a reading. If you don't post, they don't fucking post. I promise you that. They can't do shit. They can't move forward. They're trapped in fear because they already started doing something. It's like they started doing something to build a firm foundation. And it's like in order to keep the positive flow of their income, they have to keep stealing from you, but they have to keep you small, but, you know, small enough to still be able to see you because they, if they can't see you, then, you know, like, okay, let's hide this person. 
they'll never know that my rich ass or whatever the fuck this is, they'll never know. I got all these followers. I got all this money I'm getting from revenue, but they will never know that I'm the one stealing everything and keeping them small. People will think that they stole the messages from me. This person has no wisdom whatsoever. You need to stand your ground. You will indeed win with a sword or a wand. It doesn't matter. Whatever your choice of defense is, whatever your, um, I mean, I, I just hate dumb motherfuckers. I, I can't stand stupid motherfuckers. Just ignorant. You're just ignorant. Like somebody is tampering with your destiny all because they want to make a fucking dollar. Okay, but bitch, if you want to make a fucking dollar, why don't you create shit that's worth a dollar then? People always want shit that they cannot create. Y'all a bunch of greedy ass motherfuckers out here. You always want something, but you can't even create it, bitch. You can't even fucking create the shit that you want. If you overindulge like this, you should be able to create that shit. When you gotta start stealing and doing all of that, you sh probably shouldn't be doing something. <clears throat> What's here? Yeah. Somebody understands that you have power. And you really have power over them. Like, if they... if Basically, if you don't move, they can't move. Like, they literally can't do anything without you. Nothing. They cannot do it. They cannot move. I'm telling you. Like... This bitch is not a reader. This hoe does not get messages. This nigga does not get messages. They don't. They have to watch you plant that seed and then they come and cover you up. This is somebody with, like this person is getting hundreds of thousands of views. <clears throat> I heard weekly. This person is getting a lot of views. But they're literally stealing all of your traffic. They're stealing your revenue. They're stealing shit. They're trying to walk in your energy. And you know this. You couldn't literally know who this person is intuitively. I heard screen name. So just, you know, I don't know. Some kind of way this person is going to um, verify that they've been fucking stealing. You're going to realize that this person been stealing your damn messages. You're going to realize that somebody's been stealing your logo, your designs, your swag, whatever the fuck this is. You're going to realize that it's going to be hard to unsee or unhear. So this is somebody, like I said, they, they got recording devices and all kind of stupid stuff simply because they are monitoring you to see what the next thing you create is. Milk and honey, you be wondering why... I know I ain't never tell nobody about that idea. Yeah, you got cameras and shit in your house. I never told nobody about that. What I just said, Shadi? What I said, bro? Observer right here comes to the edge of chaos and conflict. As soon as you about to launch your own fucking product that you thought of, you can even start putting money into this or whatever the case is. This person is going to make sure that it does not hit the shelves. Or they're going to make sure that you get very low views. They're going to make sure nobody hears it. Like this person hears your messages first and everything. They hear your messages before anyone else does. They see your content before anyone else does. Um, and then it's like they sit back and watch it. They watch your content and then they go and create the same thing. That's why your uploads are taking so long. It's somebody sitting there watching and listening like to it. Confirmation. Yeah, new life. You're going to have a new life because this is a never-ending story. It's like somebody feels like you're putty in their hands or something. Like, they really feel like you're a fool. Somebody looks at you as dumb, gullible, naive. They're like, wow, this person really does not know I'm stealing from them. I mean, you're stealing, duh. Why would they know? Why would the hell somebody thinking uploading a video to YouTube is dangerous? Why the fuck would they think that? <laughs> like, why would the fuck would they content in their life be on the line uploading a video to YouTube? It's because it's employees that work for these people that are stealing. They're scamming. YouTube is going to have a big lawsuit, like for real. It's going to be over a billion dollars they're going to have to pay out to people. 
because they're fucking with people's livelihoods and things like that, thinker. And it's because of their employees. It's people that work here. Like, that are doing too much, thinking that they have the upper hand or something because they have a um, login or something. Go the distance. See, they gonna fuck around and do this to the wrong motherfucker. They gonna, they gonna steal and copy and do all of that and try to hide the wrong person. They don't know that somebody's father is a judge or a, a district attorney or something like that. Like, they don't they don't know. Unfinished Symphony, like, somebody is playing games and so they ain't going to be able to play. And this entire, whatever this is, like, even if it's other people involved, you're going to be excluded. It's not your fault. You're not doing anything wrong. But once um, all of this stuff is brought to the forefront, this one person is going to go down. They're going to go down by themselves. They're going to be mad. They were like, oh, you left me hanging, you left me hanging. Yep, they sure did. Luckily, most of these people are going to get out of it because it's this person that's actually doing it. They're, they're the mastermind. Baby, when it comes to money, especially stealing money. <laughs> yep. It was, especially when it comes to stealing money, like theft. Like, yeah, you, you really tripping. I feel like just, you know, get some rest. Like, just stay rested and things like that here. I feel like just continue to be yourself. If you got a product that's uh, due to launch or whatever, release it. I feel don't be afraid to release your shit, but just understand someone's going to steal it. That's just what they do. They're going to word for word steal something or they're going to completely copy your logo. I mean, that's bum shit. Like, damn, bitch, you can't think of a design. Like, what are you like? That's correct. It, it, it blows my mind. It's like, damn, people don't know what they like. Why the fuck are you basing your life upon what I like? That's weird. Why does what I like, you know, the tip, like, why does what I like dictate whether you can create something or not? And you don't go and create something based off of it. You go and create the same exact shit. And then you completely kick the person off that created it. Like, you don't give them any... Like, this is slick architecture. Like, this person is, like, creating shit. Like, are you serious? Like, do you not know how much that shit is worth? Like, are you kidding me? But you you got somebody here. They listen for everything, and they watch you. Trust me. They know you're a great fortune. They know. It's like they get a lot of readings, too. Somebody got a, a message that you were going to create something. Generational wealth is what I heard. High honor. And they feel like... Excuse me, because you're black, you don't deserve high honor. You don't deserve to have generational wealth. I just said what I said, too. Thoughts in the reverse. Main male. Yep, they're going to completely steal your idea and leave you fucked up. They're going to leave you for dead. Especially if you're, um, if you've told someone about this. You thinking you can go to, like, these loan sharks or whatever the case. You think you can trust these stupid motherfuckers with your ideas? Go ahead, then, because they're going to steal it. I'm getting something here about they own the patent to everything, the trademark, everything. Somebody is thinking that they signed a deal with someone who may have a reputable, you know, uh, career. Like they may have a good rapport in, you know, the lending business or whatever. But when it comes to whoever you are, this person is going to bend the rules. They don't give a fuck. And it's like they got to know you acting like they were your friend. But they were only here to steal. They stole it something from you before. And they're going to steal it again. They're going to steal whatever you create next again. This bitch right here got something to do with it too. I feel like this person knows that you have gifts. Like you have the gift of creation. And what I said, sudden well. Everything you think of is billion dollar ideas. Literally billions of dollars. Privileged lady. This could even be a feminine energy. Um, that runs some kind of multi-billion dollar corporation. Yeah, this woman is of great fortune. But she's only of great fortune because she keeps stealing everybody else's ideas. And see, you, you don't have to steal. A lot of y'all, this is you. You're this privileged lady. It could be this bitch right here that's, you know, the thief. Well, there's the main male here too. Somebody has been inquiring about you and somebody is not telling you. They, they didn't plan on telling you then, and they don't plan on telling you now. 
somebody is getting a message about bad health from the work that they've been doing on you. Yeah, okay. Motherfuckers just passing out. They don't know what the fuck they had. They, you know, throwing up blood and shit. Like, they don't know what the fuck is going on. I mean, but they knew that they were attacking you, wanting you to be sick, though. Yep, somebody refused to give you this damn house. It's a death. Somebody's about to die, honey. Who gives a fuck? Who, who gives a fuck about people like this? Like, seriously? Who cares? This, this person right here is nothing but a tyrant. I mean, for real, for real. And it's like they do the shit in the background. Message, and then you got journey reverse. It's like somebody wants you constantly starting over. When you don't have to. I mean, if you want to, you can. Community. If you want to start over, you can. But start over because you're starting a new project. Alongside your other projects. You dig it, You're not starting over because you have nothing left at all. That's crazy. It's like these people take everything from you. They take every drop of everything you have. And then you're left to literally start over. And then what you used to start over, you carry in a ten of fucking wands. They steal that idea too. Oh, how did they get back on their feet? Let's study them. Let's stalk them. Let's see if we can get them to tell us. And then there they go to steal that too. And then drain you for nothing. Make sure you're broke and homeless, whatever. Somebody is here to make sure you're in poverty. I mean, they're being paid to do it. Somebody's putting their children through fucking school on making sure you never receive something. I don't know. Mm, it's in the tarot. Yeah, the eight of wands. Something is coming to you quick, though. So, I mean, whatever. It's something about Nestle quick. Like, somebody could be creating, like, some kind of protein shake or, like, some kind of chocolate shake or something. So they're going to steal it. Seven of Pentacles. If you've ever shown someone a prototype or anything like that, some kind of blueprint, trust me, they're going to steal this shit. Yeah, the devil reversed. Somebody is overly, like, obsessed with you and your brain. Like, they're obsessed with your brain power because they have none. These are complete idiots. Like, I'm so tired of reading slow motherfuckers. The tower, like, so serious. Like, it seems like everybody that's watching these readings are literally slow. Not everybody, but I'm saying, like, these the culprits that are in these readings... They're literally short bus ready. No, dead serious. They're slow as fuck. And I'm not talking about someone who has an actual disability. No, these people are just dumb as fuck. They're just dumb. These are people that have ruined their brain cells with drugs and shit like that. <laughs> these are not people that were born a certain way. Page of Swords Reverse. I told you they're overdoing some. These are not them type of people. I feel for people who actually have, you know, bo uh, were born a certain way. That's really not fair. You dig a reach cube, but this is not that. Two of Wands, Eight of Swords. This is not that at all. This is someone who has no brain power. This is a fucking fool. They're an idiot. This King of Swords Reverse and this King of Cups. This could be a group of men trying to keep you single. So that you can keep on working, keep on creating so that they can keep stealing. Like God gave you a huge, huge idea. Nine of Pentacles because you're supposed to be abundant on your fucking own. And it's like they're just sitting around waiting to steal it from you. Yeah, this King of Cups is right behind you. This man will not fucking leave you alone. And it's like they, they are monitoring you for a group of other people. It's a, yeah, it's a bunch of men that sit around and drink beer. The fuck is this king of the hill? It's a bunch of these motherfuckers. This motherfucker boomer. Whoever this idiot is. These are some dummies. I'm telling you. Five of pentacles. They're stupid. They're dumb as fuck. I don't care how much money you got. You're a damn dummy. Nine of cups reverse. Seven of wands. They're blocks. I feel like just do things in a certain manner. What I said, y'all. You'll figure it out. Whoever you are, you could definitely be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, whatever. I'm getting Earth energy. This is something that you're creating with your own two fucking hands, shy. And there's the Ace of Cups. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles with the Two of Cups. Like you're going to get some regards. Like you're you're gonna figure it out. 
Yeah, the wheel of fortune. It's just like you're the wheel of fortune is still spinning. Like you're going to figure something out. Somebody is really attacking your health. You're healthy as fuck though. The nine of cups with the seven of swords in the reverse. Like what the fuck? This sneaky ass bastard. Like somebody, like I said, they're right there on your heels. Like somebody. Uh uh. I'm hearing Leave the Door Open by Bruno Mars. I don't know what the name of that song is per se, but I'm, I'm hearing it. Ace of Cups and the Pinnacle. Yeah, these people ain't getting shit. Somebody's being conniving because of this. Like, oh, they stole my idea. Oh, they stole my opportunity. Oh, let me just give up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up. This is why you just simply cannot tell people anything. Three of Swords. You just cannot tell them shit. You need to just do shit. <laughs> And do it a certain way. You gotta you gotta even be careful how you launch something. You gotta make sure you got leverage to even launch some shit these days. Cause you can't just put shit out no any kind of way. You gotta go through all of the proper channels. You gotta make sure your shit trademark, INC, whatever. You gotta make sure everything is on paper good. Just because of these kind of people. And it's like, this person don't even want you to get the design up and running. It's like, or this um, song or whatever this is. Somebody is literally listening to everything you say. They're watching everything you do. They're waiting on you to create something. And it's kind of weird because what the fuck are they doing in the meantime? Magic. They're doing witchcraft in the meantime. You have the nine of swords to keep you confused and stuck. So it's like, well, you don't want to, you don't want to tell us your ideas. Well, we're just going to, you know, keep doing this work on you. Child, wow, this, all of this shit is about to be over. It's, it's oh, four months. Look at the ten of swords, honey. This, this person is going to really fuck you over. And it's, 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 I feel like it's designed this way. No pun intended. Like it's a, it's a certain design. Someone cannot think of designs. Just like if you do nails or something, right? Every time you upload a video of your nails or like anything you do, like this person goes right behind you. They go right behind you and do the same exact thing, but they have more followers or something. This person is skilled, but they're not creative. Like, what the fuck is you talking about, bro? Yeah, you're skilled. But you're not creative. I mean, it's a difference. This person is skilled and creative. You're you're just a copycat, bro. You're a copy. Let me get one of these damn cards right here. Child, it's a like, uh, -uh. yeah. This is over. It, it, as soon, boy, I'm telling you, like this this type of energy really pisses me off. This person could even be getting a room. Like watching you from a certain place or something like that, or you know, they you could live in one place, they live in another place, and they frequently visit where you live, getting rooms and shit to follow you around. It's weird. What are they up to? What are they planning next? It's like they just want to be sitting right the fuck there. Girl, fighting for what you love, claiming what's yours, love is a battlefield. This is not love. You're not gonna fight this person or anything like that. Like it's like something is strange. I hate nothing about you. Do you see this card? This person does not hate anything about you. They're sitting there watching everything you do. And they're copying it. They're calculating how much you charge for something. And then they go back and literally take 30% off of what you charge. And then they throw it on the market. Saying, well, I got this available for this price. But this person itself, like this person is not qualified to even be doing whatever this is. These ideas come from the Lord to you. They're your ideas, not theirs. Like, what the hell is these people doing? I can't stand people like this who can't think for their fucking self. These are the same people that believe everything everybody tells them. Like, they don't have a mind of their own. They're dumb. But you a boss. You a leader. Yeah, no the fuck you're not. You're getting your karma. You're getting bad karma, motherfuckers. We. You're getting bad karma. This person is going to fucking rot. Look, I told you, they're an impersonator. This <laughs> karmic friends and unfazed, you're unfazed by whatever this is. Like, these are a bunch of karmic friends that are screenshotting something you're doing, and then they go and reject your shit. I'm telling you, it's something on a phone. 
But you see, this phone is blank. That whatever comes up, they got a blank canvas waiting for you to express your ideas. And if you don't express any of your any of your ideas, they just don't have any ideas. It's something specifically about your brain. Anybody can think of something, but it's the way that you think of something and the way that you plan things. Instead of working with you, again, instead of working with you, these people just, they'll, they'll spend all their money on technology. They'll spend all their money on um, publishing or distribution and all of that to steal from you. They'll just steal it. They'll just, they rather just steal. It's easier because they don't have to deal with people like you. Yeah, they're good, but I don't want to deal with people like them. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself exactly. Pets, getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. This has something to do with pets or something. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, like I said, Earth sign. I told you. I t <laughs> I'm just saying. Someone's got their eye on you. You are doing your research. This is that page of source. Look, gold digger, they just want your money or they just want the money. And then they're going to let you go. Patience, they're watching and waiting. And it's not to say, oh, if you weren't mean to that person, maybe they wouldn't steal your ideas. No, it don't matter. You could be sweet as fucking pie. This person's going to steal your ideas because they don't have any of their dumb. This is a fucking idiot. So don't sit up here and tell me that people do shit because they got a motive against you. No, they don't. Some people, literally, the motive is only money. The money is the motive. Fuck with the money, it get ugly as coyote. Okay, I'm reloaded. Better pull it if you told it. I buy a pound, break it down, and put it in the stove. Also, how you probably catch us hand around this motherfucker? This rap game, I got my hand around this motherfucker. Yeah, I said game, but I ain't playing around this motherfucker. I'm the best to ever do it, bitch. And you the best at never doing shit. If you the shit, then I'm so rich. Try me and I have your people, Rena. You legit. Yeah, these they can't think of anything. They're they're literally piggybacking off of everything you do. Like that's why your back may feel so heavy. Like you may feel like there's a lot of weight on your back. Yeah. It's because it's these people. They're literally riding your back. <laughs> like they're they're riding your back literally riding you weighing you down but it's like well what else are you gonna do because all you do is work all you do is think of ideas yeah that's what these people know and they know that you're priding your joys in your work but they get their pride and joy from bringing it all the way the fuck down to make sure you have nothing somebody does not want you building generational wealth at all you're building this they're not helping you build shit. They're not helping you with materials. Like, they're not even consuming your shit. They just sitting back watching how you do something and then stealing the shit. They don't give a fuck if they looked at it as fake. They don't care. All they care is if the, the make sure that damn money ain't counterfeit. Are these bills? These, these ain't counterfeit bills, are they? Okay, I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. I mean, yeah, if you're in the upright. <laughs> Yeah, nobody gives a fuck. We, yeah, we want the bread. Yeah. But, I mean, are you creating this, though? You're literally, you literally got a whole system stealing from someone. Get your weird ass out of here. You got a whole system stealing. You ain't original. You ain't never had shit original. Never had none original. That's why you don't want nobody to know who this person is. Because you're stealing everything from them. Or someone is stealing everything from you. Everything you do, it will not last. Someone has caught on to the fact that you're a genius or something. And then it's even worse because you're black. And also because you're a rebel. You don't want to sign contracts with people. Shit like that right there. Yeah. They're holding all of that against you. And they, oh, one thing. They don't believe in my dad either. They're atheists. So what the fuck is common sense and common courtesy to these people? I'm going to leave it right here. Remember, they got a little bit. So, do I? You guys have a great day. Bye.